let's go to folders. You wanna do some work over here? Yeah, good job. And how do we spell cow? Look at the letters. Oh, and cow. And W spells cow, very good. We were first told that she was blind. They didn't think she had an optic nerve and that she would never see or hear or walk or talk. Where? We are. Do you live? Good job. Where do you live? I remember I used to cry when people would ask me how Peyton was. It is a new parent's worst nightmare, the knowledge that something is wrong with your newborn child. For Michael and Will Abney, the tear lasted two and a half years until their daughter Peyton was diagnosed with mental retardation and an assortment of physical abnormalities. Hands on, leg over. It was the opportunity to treat the physical that gave Texas Scottish Rite Hospital for Children the chance to change Peyton's life. Okay. Sure you may, good talking. For Peyton, the first step toward a normal life was learning how to take it without falling. Peyton was a toe walker. And when I say toe walker, I mean it was on the tips of her toes. She'd always fall, she had a, a big knot right here on her head because she'd fall in the same place every time. And I remember thinking, is that knot ever gonna go away? My pediatrician here said she really needs this surgery. It's called heel cord surgery, where they go in and cut the Achilles tendon. I thought, how painful is that? And she said, but it really helps. To be able to do that in an environment like Scottish Rite was a huge blessing for us. They want the kids to be comfortable and they want to help the kids and that shows from every person you meet there. They're happy, they want to be there, they love you and they love these kids. Arms out, I am right here. From a toe walker to a sky walker, thanks to Dr. Rathjen and the miracle workers at Texas Scottish Rite Hospital for Children. She has recovered right there, right there. incredibly well. It was, it was beyond our imagination how much of a difference that would really make in her daily life. Back up, beautiful. In our daily life for that matter. Ooh, she missed you high. And like so many families who have experienced the care at Scottish Rite, the Abneys are giving back by bringing over 200 runners to Dallas. Patey's Peeps running for the hospital that delivered a child's rebirth. I want to thank everybody for coming out and helping us with this and for participating in all this for Patey. This is a real neat thing for our family and we're real excited about being able to give back a little bit. Well, a lot of them have been touched by Peyton in some way. She just has a, a grace about her and a happiness about her that, uh, that pulls at you. But who are these people gathering to run in Peyton's honor? They are West Texas finest, some who literally give everything for a friend. I had to have a hysterectomy after Peyton because it was such a bad delivery. But the doctor left my ovaries and he said, you still would be able to have children, but you'd have to use a surrogate. And I remember being in the hospital bed crying, saying, who in the world would have a baby for me? And then one of my best friends, Christine Foreman said, I will have a baby for you. I feel a true calling to be a surrogate for someone, and um, it's our genetic baby. We did fertility in Dallas, and now we have Ben. Midland, Texas. If you need directions, it's halfway between here and heaven, a place where miracles live in special children and parents exemplify true grit. There were some times when I said, but why me? I would just, there's so many people that are stronger. Why us? Why, do, why are we having to do this? And I don't know that we'll ever know that answer, but I do know that we couldn't have gotten this far without God and without the people that he's surrounded us with. And we just feel very fortunate. Show me where Peyton is. Right here. That's Peyton. I wouldn't trade it for a minute. The blessings that Peyton brings us are beyond anything that you could ever imagine.